Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring PPP authentication. Inside of GNS3, we're going to be taking a look at PPP. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our simple, simple network topology within GNS3. We're going to have router 1, router 2, and we will re reconfigure the host name of R0 to router 3. So we're going to have R1, R2, and R3. And what we're going to use in this lab is PPP authentication types of challenge handshake authentication protocol, otherwise known as CHAP, and we're also going to look at password authentication protocol, otherwise known as PAP. Also, I'm going to show you how both of those protocols interact and what the differences is are them are between them. PAP, the biggest difference is PAP is going to be plain text, where CHAP is going to be using MD5 authentication. So what we'll do first is we will configure our simple network topology within GNS3. R1 is going to be the hub and R2 and R3 are going to be the spokes. So we'll have R1 to R2, a serial connection, and R1 to R3. The link between R1 and R3 is going to be on the 13 network. And then the link between R1 to R2 is going to be using the 12 network. Both of these networks are going to be slash 30 subnet masks. And let's go ahead and get the routers started. And then we will go ahead and start configuring our PPP authentication. You'll see PPP authentication on your studies for CCNA and also for your more advanced CCIE routing and switching studies. So there's a lot of different uses for PPP and setting it up on Cisco routers. So what we're going to do is build you a solid foundation Configuring in this case, we're going to be configuring PAP and CHAP inside of PPP. So, we're just going to lay a solid foundation for you guys in this video. This is going to be a, a basic PPP lab. So, once again, PPP authentication is very important to become a master of how it works within your studies. So let's go ahead and get all the routers started. What we're going to use on the top from R1 to R3, we're going to be using CHAP authentication. And then on the lower link, which is R1 to R2, we're going to be using PAP. So let's go ahead and go into PuTTY Connection Manager. Let's get into R1 and get the initial configuration done on Router 1. So within this lab, we're going to do some configuration. We'll also do verification with debug commands and show commands. So not only are you going to be able to configure PPP but also troubleshoot it as well. We'll go ahead and name, give it the host name of R1. We'll go under line console 0, set the no exec timeout command. Let's, let's get router 2 started. If we look at the topology summary on the right of GNS3, we can see R1 Serial 1, 0 is connected to router 2. 